Before I show you one of my new products from Mecca, I'm going to go in with my skincare routine. So today I'm starting off with the Olivio. This is the day cream and it is really nice and thick, really hydrating. And I'm just gonna massage that all over my face and down my neck and also down my decolletage as well. Had a very big weekend. So I'm going to go in with the Banish Instant Eye Lift Cream. This cream is beautiful. I'm just popping that under my eyes and over my eyes as well. And also giving that a little bit of a massage in. For my base today, I'm going to use the MCO Beauty. This is the Flawless Glow. This can be used just as a primer or underneath your foundation. Today I'm choosing to just use it on its own as a primer just to give myself that little bit of a natural skin look to my skin and a bit more glow. I do find the applicator a little bit difficult to use, especially if you're doing a full face. And I also find it quite dewy or glowy for me. So we will add some powder. I'm gonna put it on my decolletage as well and this will just even out a little bit of that skin tone there and around my neck. Now this is the contour wand by Emco Beauty. I love this little wand, it's just perfect shade for me and it really helps to warm up the face and again give myself that really natural sun-kissed look without wearing too much product. I did run it alongside of my nose as well. Now the product that I'm going to use to set this is the Youngblood. Now this is the medium rice setting powder. And I'm just using a detailed brush under the eyes and just under the nose there and instantly you can see that it just gets rid of the excess shine and I'm using a much larger brush to just really buff that all over the face. I did actually forget to pop some concealer under my eyes so I'll come back and do that a little bit later. Just combing through those brows for now. Now this is one of the products that I bought and this is the Charlotte Tilbury and it's called the Color Chameleon and this one is called in bronzed garnet. Now it's designed for green eyes, but I'm using it on mine, so very similar. And this is such a simple way to do your eye makeup. Now I've run that all the way over my eye and I'm using a fluffy brush just to blend out the crease and really lift it up onto the brow bone. This is one of the simplest ways to do your eye makeup. So once again, just rubbing it all over the eyelid, right up into that crease and a little bit underneath as well. And then I'm going to go in with that fluffy brush and just blend it through the crease. And that pretty much is your eye makeup. So it's so, so simple. I would love to try some more of the colors, but I think this one is just absolutely gorgeous. And it doesn't look too heavy on the eyes either. I'm going in with the um, Fernando Herve's eyeliner. This is in chocolate, just to really frame those eyes. The mascara today I'm using is my Mineral Mascara by Youngblood. This is actually one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. So just sweeping that through my lashes, just to really help wake them up. The next product I'm going to go in with is the um, Emco Beauty. This is the um, Define and Set. So first of all, I'm just defining the brows and then I'll go in with the little spoolie wand and just set them in place. This product is very, very easy and I do find that they stay like this, like this all day. So once again, filling in the brows and then I'll set it with the little spoolie wand on the other end. So perfect for nice easy brows. Here I am now with a little bit of that concealer which I didn't put on earlier. So I'm just gonna sweep that really gently under the eyes. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. Now lipstick today, I'm going in with a new one. I haven't tried this one from Saint Rene and it is called Venice. So it's got a really gorgeous peachy tone and I'm popping that on my lips and on my cheeks and just buffing that out. And that'll just give me that nice fresh look I just love it. So what I'm also going to do is get a smaller brush and just add it to that brow bone there just to really bring that color just up into the eyes as well and just have everything looking very seamless. Let me know what you think of this very simple eye makeup. 